Hey y'all, this is Mike with Raider Dog Ranch. Today we're going to be doing a product review on this paracord that I got. This is a special paracord, not just standard 550. This is a survival paracord made by Wild Air. Let's get into it. So Wild Air paracord is a 4-in-1 U.S. military type 3 paracord. And what's special about it is it's got integrated fishing line and fire starter within the outer sheath. This paracord measures 5 30 seconds inches in diameter. This particular set that I got is 100 feet in length. And inside there are seven triple strands, one braided fishing line up to 40 pound test, one waxed linen line for fire, and one cotton sewing thread. So if you look at this, you can see, notice that this one thread here is a little smaller, so this would be your sewing thread. These, see if I can get these separated. These bigger ones are your triple strands, so these are typical in paracord. That's where most of your strength would come from. But then you have, so this is a braided fishing line. It's not monofilament, it is braided uh, cotton. You can kind of see it fray in there in the end. But it's supposed to be a 40 pound test. And then this is a waxed layer of cotton. And that will make for a good fire starter. And again, this is 550 paracord. So has the same strength, military grade 550 with these integrated pieces inside. You can get these in multiple colors. I decided to get a bright color because I'm planning on using it for situations where I want high vis. I'm gonna add um, a tether on the knife and if I drop the knife, I wanna easily be able to find it. You can see that if that fell into the ground, it's pretty much the same color as the ground. So be easy to lose. Or if I wanna put tethers on my zippers on my backpack, it'll be high vis for that. So let's take a look at the cord. So as I mentioned, you've got seven strands of regular triple braid. Here is your fishing line. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, it's not monofilament, so it feels different, but it is really strong. It's very thin. Would make for a good line. Pretty easy to tie. And then you have this one, a little thinner than the rest that can be used for sewing thread. If you have, if you're in the wilderness and you get a rip in your clothes or in your gear if your backpack starts to break down toward the bottom of course your stuff's going to fall out so you really do need to have some sewing thread and a needle that's pretty fundamental and this one is the most interesting to me so this is just a wax coated piece of thread that will light and it'll burn like a candle wick. So it's, you see it's a little windy out here. Obviously, it's not windproof, but the idea with this is, with it being waxy, it slows the burn rate to make for a good starter. You can kind of make this into a bundle.
no technique here. I'm just trying to get it to, to bundle up. This is what I would do if I were going to try to strike it with a fire starter. If I wanted some decent fire start, I would light that. Still burning. So see how slow the burn is. Give you plenty of time to get some small sticks and get started on that. That would really make a fire start pretty easy, much easier than trying to start it just off of a, a strike of a fire stick or a ferro rod. I guess you could add these into it if you wanted to. And as you would expect, this cord is a little more expensive, but it's really not a lot more expensive than the standard 550 from what I've seen on Amazon. You usually pay about 10 or $11 for 100 feet, and this was $16, $17 for 100 feet, depending on you know some the color change sometimes raises or lowers the price but um, you know for a hundred feet I guess about 50% more but $16 for a hundred feet I didn't think was very bad again this is the the sewing thread that's the fishing line and the fire tender is gone and you would burn the end here like you always would to, to close that off I think the real question is, would you use this, you know, would you would you really use these internal fibers any differently or any more or less than you would on 550? I think it depends on what you're going to use it for. I was really just getting this because I've always seen the survival cord. I've been interested to see, you know, what how good the fire tender is, what these little fishing line and sewing pieces are all about. So. I don't know, I'll leave that to you to decide if it's worth the extra money or not, but it does give you a little bit of flexibility in the set. I think you could arguably say you could just take one of these and sew with it if you needed to. Sewing thread probably doesn't give you much. The tender line, could you could you use this as a fishing line? Yeah, you could. It's a little more visible if you're worried about the visibility of the line. But you know, if you're talking survival. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That helps the channel out a lot. You can also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more videos. The notification bell will let you know as soon as they come out so you can be the first to watch. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.